The Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Leaders Meeting is now underway in the Peruvian capital, Lima. The CEO Summit began on Thursday and discussions on various ways to seek better economic growth will continue. Chinese President Xi Jinping has delivered a keynote speech at the CEO Summit. He says it's essential to build an integrated and open economy in the Asia-Pacific region. Wang Tongxuan has more. Leaders from Asia-Pacific attempt to find new paths to growth. This year's meeting comes against the backdrop of a sluggish global recovery and growing challenges that cloud the world economic outlook. In the face of risks and challenges, all sides should uphold a partnership spirit of sharing mutual concerns and promoting win-win cooperation, enhance coordination on macroeconomic policies, adopt innovative economic growth patterns, and build an open world economy. That way, we can achieve a strong, sustainable, balanced, and inclusive growth. 2.8 billion people live in the APAC region representing around 57 percent of the world's GDP and 49 percent of the global trade. Since the formation of APAC, trade barriers among member economies have eased and growth has risen. Real GDP in APAC economies has grown from $16 trillion in 1989 to $31 trillion in 2013. President Xi is calling for a concerted effort to establish the Free Trade Area of the Asia-Pacific, or FTAAP. He says the deal is a strategic choice for the long-term prosperity of the region. We should firmly pursue the FTAP and provide an institutional mechanism for ensuring an open economy in the Asia-Pacific. We must energize trade and investment to drive growth. We must make free trade arrangements more open and inclusive and safeguard the multilateral trading system. This year's APAC gathering takes place days after Donald Trump's election to the U.S. presidency. His surprise win dashes hopes for the largest ever trade deal proposed by the U.S., the Trans-Pacific Partnership of Coming to Fruition. President Xi is supporting an alternative vision for regional trade by promoting the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership or RCEP. He says China will not shut its doors to the outside world. Acknowledging that more open global trade is a double-edged sword, the leader of the world's second largest economy says he still believes globalization is a net positive. Fang Luxuan, CCTV.